In this video, we are looking at adding numbers in standard form. We started looking at this in the previous video, but in the previous video, the two numbers that we were adding in standard form had the same power of 10. But notice, this time, we've got different powers of 10. Here I've got 5.2 times 10 to the power of 6, but here I've got 3.1 times 10 to the power of 5. Now, to add these together, what I want to do is rewrite one of them so that both of these numbers in standard form have the same power of 10. Now, normally what I want to do is pick the higher power of 10, so that's that one, and keep that the same, and rewrite this as a number which is something times 10 to the power of 6 to match this here. So, let's get started. I'm going to keep that first one the same, as I said, because this has got the higher power of 10. So that's 5.2 times 10 to the power of 6. Now, this number here needs to be something times 10 to the power of 6, 2. So, what's happened to go from there to there? I've had to multiply by 10. Now, to keep this number worth the same, I need to divide this one by 10 to compensate. 3.1 divided by 10 is 0 0.31. So all I'm saying is that this here is the same as this here. Now, this is no longer in standard form, but that's fine. We haven't finished yet. The point is we've now got two numbers where we have the same power of 10. We've got 10 to the power of 6 and 10 to the power of 6. And if you've seen the previous video, you'll see that this now means they are easy to add. I've got 5.2 lots of 10 to the power of 6 plus 0.31 lots of 10 to the power of 6. So that's 5.2 plus 0.31, which is 5.51 lots of 10 to the power of 6. And just check, do we have our answer in standard form? Yes, we do. So that's our answer. We can add these numbers in standard form like this. Here's question B. This time I'm subtracting two numbers that are in standard form. And again, I don't have the same power of 10. What I want to do is make sure they both have the same power of 10. So I need to rewrite one of them. And just like before, normally what I want to do is keep the higher power the same. So keep this number here as 2.3 times 10 to the power of 7. And rewrite the number with the lower power of 10. So this one has the lower power of 10. It's 10 to the power of 6. I want to rewrite that as something times 10 to the power of 7. Now... To go from there to there, I'm multiplying by 10. 10 to the power of 6 multiplied by 10 gets me to 10 to the power of 7. So to keep this number here the same, I need to compensate by dividing this by 10. I need to divide the 4 by 10, and that will give me 0 0.4. So just to be clear, I've rewritten this number here into this number. Now, because we've got the same power of 10, we can simply do 2.3 minus 0.4. And that gives me 1.9. And that means we've got 1.9 lots of 10 to the power of 7. And let's just check, is that in standard form? Yes, it is. So we can leave it at that. Here's question C. 7.1 times 10 to the power of 3 plus 3.5 times 10 to the power of 6. Again, I'm going to look for my higher power of 10. That's this one here. So I'm going to keep that one the same. And what I need to do is rewrite this number as something times 10 to the power of 6. Now, to get from 10 to the power of 3 times 10 to the power of 6, I need to multiply by 10 to the power of 3. 
Let me just make a note of that. We're multiplying by 10 to the power of 3. In other words, multiplying by 1,000. So that means to go from 7.1 to the number we need here, we have to compensate by dividing by 10 to the power of 3. Or another way you might think of it is multiplying by 10 to the power of negative 3. So, in other words, we need to make this a thousand times smaller. And that gives us 0 0.0071. So here's what we've got. We've got 0 0.0071 lots of 10 to the 6 plus 3.5 lots of 10 to the 6. And how many lots of 10 to the 6 is that all together? Well, it's that many plus that many. So that's 3.5071 lots of 10 to the power of 6. Let's just check we've got our final answer in standard form. Yes, we do. So we're done. Here's question D. We've got 7.1 times 10 to the negative 4 minus 2 times 10 to the negative 5. Now, the higher power of 10 is this one. Remember, negative 4 is higher up the number line than negative 5. So I'm going to keep this the same. So that equals 7.1 times 10 to the negative 4 minus whatever this is written with a 10 to the negative 4 in it. Now, to go from there to there, we're multiplying by 10 to the power of 1. Now, that's the same as multiplying by 10. So to compensate, to keep this number the same, we need to divide that by 10. So divide that 2 by 10. And that's going to give us 0 0.2. So altogether, 7.1 lots of this minus 0 0.2 lots of the same power of 10 is going to give us 6.9 lots of 10 to the negative 4. Just check it's in standard form. Yes, it is. So we can leave it there. Here's question E. 5.23 times 10 to the power of 2 plus 2.3 times 10 to the power of negative 1. The higher power of 10 is this one. So we're going to keep 5.23 times 10 to the 2. And then I need to rewrite this number as something times 10 to the 2 as well. Now to go from there to there, what are we multiplying by? Well, look at the indices. That's going up by 3. So what we're doing is multiplying by 10 to the 3. And that means to compensate, we have to divide 2.3 by 10 to the 3. Now, if you prefer, you can think of that as multiplying by 10 to the negative 3. But the effect is we need to make 2.3 a thousand times smaller. So that's going to become 0 0.0023. And then when we add these up, we're going to get 5.2323 lots of 10 to the power of 2. And that is in standard form, so we can leave it at that. Here's question F. 9.822 times 10 to the power of 6 plus 378,500. Now this time I've got a number that isn't in standard form. It's just written as an ordinary number. What I want to do is add these up and write my final answer in standard form. So what I'm going to do is turn this into something that looks like my previous questions by rewriting this in standard form. So I'm going to get 9.822 times 10 to the power of 6. And then this number here is going to be 3.78 5 times 10 to the power of 5. OK, what next? Well, if you've watched the video so far, you'll know that I need to rewrite this number 
as something times 10 to the power of 6 to match this here. So I'm going to keep this first bit the same. I need to make the second number into this form. Now, 10 to the power of 5, to turn that into 10 to the power of 6, I need to multiply it by 10. So to compensate, I need to divide this by 10. Dividing 3.785 by 10, I get 0 0.3785. And now I can think of this as 9.822 lots of 10 to the 6 plus 0.3785 lots of 10 to the 6. So how many lots of 10 to the 6 is that? Well, adding these together, 9.822 and 0.3785, I get 10.2005. So I've got that many lots of 10 to the power of 6. Now, can I leave it there? No, this is not in standard form. This here is greater than 10. Remember, for a number to be in standard form, this has to be less than 10 and at least 1. So what I need to do is divide this by 10. And that's going to give me 1.02005. Now, because I divided this by 10, to compensate, I need to multiply this by 10. So 10 to the power of 6 multiplied by 10 becomes 10 to the power of 7. And now I've got my answer in standard form.